Hi, this is Chris from the CCAC Library, and in the next couple of minutes, I want to show you how to get started using the library's OneSearch system for your research projects. The OneSearch system is a great tool for students who need to conduct research to find information for papers and projects. It covers virtually every subject area and contains a wide variety of resources such as articles, books, and videos. It's an excellent research tool for any topic, whether it's academic or personal interest. You can get to the OneSearch system from the CCAC Library website at www.ccac.edu slash library. Once there, you'll see the OneSearch form right on the front page. To start using OneSearch, enter some search words that reflect your topic in the form and then click the search button. Keep in mind that research is a process and that you'll probably want to run multiple searches using different words and different phrases that reflect your topic. In this case, we'll run a search for depression. On the results screen, we can see that we have over 1.3 million items to look through, which is a lot. So one of the, the key strategies you can use if you're finding way too many sources is to add additional keywords. So we can head up to the top, enter in some additional keywords. Um, for instance, you might focus in on a specific population. So maybe this search could focus in on college students or veterans or senior citizens. Whatever your specialization is going to be, you can add additional keywords that reflect that topic. So this gives us just under 20,000 items, which is still considerable. Another strategy that you can use to increase the relevancy of your results list is to use the limit options on the left-hand side of the screen. Some of the limit options will allow you to focus in on certain item types. So if you need an academic journal, you can place a checkbox here and that will limit your results only to show you academic journals. If you're looking for a magazine article, you can check that box as well. If you need books, so you can see all of the different item types listed here. And clicking these will filter through your results and give you items that are just of those particular type. So this adds a great deal of control to your search results. Another option above that is to limit to peer-reviewed publications. So in some cases, you may have a professor who wants you to use only academic journals from peer-reviewed sources. You can check that box. Now all the results that come back should come from peer-reviewed journals. And one other limiter in here that is often very helpful is the limit by date. So you can set a date range so that articles will only be published within that date range. So the first article in this result list goes all the way back to 1936. In many cases, you're probably going to want something current unless you're doing historical research. So you can use the slider bar here to adjust accordingly. So I'll do this to 2010. That will give me 10 years worth of documents. And as you're scanning through your results in the main part of the screen, you can see the title, you can see the authors, the journal where it was published, and in many cases, the full text of the article but click the title to see more information about your article. And the most important part on this page is gonna be on the left. So anytime you wanna actually see your document, look on the upper left-hand side of the screen for any links to other databases, full text links. And in this case, I see a PDF full text. So clicking that link should display the article on the screen. And there it is. So these articles can be downloaded, you can print them, you can email them. Um, you can save them locally. And also on the right-hand side of the screen, you see other options for exporting and saving. Articles can be sent via email. You can enter in an email address. You can send it to your Google Drive account if you're a Google Drive user. There's also a nice little citation element over here. So if you're interested in using this article and you want to get a citation format, that little button, this little icon, will show you the citation for this particular article. And depending on your style, we have APA here, Chicago Turabian, and there's also MLA available in the system. So this is the citation for that article. So this can be copied and pasted and used in other locations. You can drop it into your Word document, and you can also move it over to your Noodle Tools account if you have a Noodle Tools account. And to navigate back to your result list, you can go to the upper left and continue your searching. So that's kind of a quick overview of how you can get into the OneSearch system and start finding. And again, a couple of key strategies. 
um, add additional keywords that will help add focus to your search. And then on the left hand side, use the limit options to help refine your search to specific types and specific date ranges. And then once you have an article on the screen, always look on the left so you know how to get to it. And then your export and save and site features will be on the right hand side of the screen. If you have any questions on how any of this works, feel free to get in touch with the librarians. We'll be glad to work with you regardless of your location. Do note that in the upper right, there's a chat button up here. So if this is online, you can chat with one of our CCAC librarians immediately and get help with wherever you're working. So again, if you have questions, please get in touch. Thank you.